What's up guys, still don't need to wear aviators and not a Superman hat, I'm still wearing my Nightwing hat just because I just finished recording the Screamer video, it's already down on the channel if you haven't seen it yet, but that, we're not going to worry about that right now, we're going to worry about the next episode of Combat for Dummies and that is using blade sword, so hopefully you guys saw the blade video on Rebellion Studios, check that out if you haven't, but for right now, let's learn how to use this sword. So guys, today we're going to go over two separate moves with the sword. Now, our first move is going to be a block. Blocking, again, your head, the most important part of your body. I've probably said that a bunch of times by now on these videos. So, we're going to take our sword in two hands, and we're going to take your blade and go up and at an angle, blocking one of the sides that you're being attacked on. The reason it's at an angle is that your pressure doesn't come through your sword and possibly break it, it slides off of your sword. It's like why uh, roofs over your house aren't flat. Flat roofs will catch rain and can cave in. A slanted roof will allow rain to dribble, tr trickle off the side of the house. And so when you use your sword, block like that so your attacks can slide off the side of your sword. Bang, just like that. Keeping it slanted and above your head to be able to protect yourself. Now, the next uh, technique we're going to go over, because again, we got to go over two today, <clears throat> is going to be our basic slash. Now, it comes around the head and down. Just up and down. Up and down. Up, around the head, and down at an angle. Now, I don't want to come straight down, because that's sloppy and it leaves you wide open. Keeping your body in motion is key for winning fights. Being able to move is, is going to allow you to be able to win fights. Being able to stay mobile is going to allow you to win fights. And so, when you're doing the strike, don't stay still and just you know, charge into target. That's a good way to get stabbed in the chest. Move around and strike through just like that. So, to practice at home, so I give you guys something to practice at home. Obviously, I wouldn't suggest using a real sword in the beginning. Don't stab yourself, but I'm gonna assume you guys are not stupid and won't stab yourselves. Uh, so here's what I want you guys to practice. It's gonna be a combination. One, two, just like that. Watch one more time. Block around the head, strike. Block going away from your attack, coming away, and then going through your target, just like that. All together, one, two. One more time, one, two. And you can obviously do this on both sides. One, two, one, two. Now a couple things to keep in mind. Whenever you're blocking with your sword, whoop, let me change this camera angle a little bit. There we go. Whenever you're blocking with your sword, you want to keep the blade not, the blade is not where you're gonna wanna block with it. You're gonna wanna block with the side of the sword. If you block with the blade, you'll um, take away the sharpness of your blade and it won't cut through what you wanna cut through as easily. So whenever you block, block with the side of the sword so that you can slice through with the blade of the sword. Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learn a little bit, but make sure you're careful when you're practicing this at home. I can't say that enough. Be careful, guys. Be, like, just be careful. It's not my fault if you end up breaking somebody's window. So, with all that said, my name is DJ Moore, and I'm out.